Andrew Bogut has been a key part of the Golden State Warriors' success over the past five years. The center was a key player in the first ring of the team's modern era and has appeared in the other two finals that the Bay Area lost, first in 2016 to the Cavaliers and then in the last one to the Raptors. There has even been much talk of his possible return to the Warriors roster. But wait a minute, what if instead of bringing back a familiar center, we upgrade another one that has a similar game? That's what seems to cross the minds of the leaders of the Golden State Warriors, who see as great the choice they could do of James Wiseman. Want to know why? Keep watching until the end of the video and we'll show you exactly why the Golden State Warriors should sign James Wiseman. When Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, and Phil Jackson left the Bulls dynamic, the franchise went into a maelstrom of results that caused them to move from the big ring to the underworld. 1998-99, the first season without the trio in the ranks of one of the greatest dynasties in history, if not the best, ended with a record of 13-37, the lockout season, followed by one of 17-65 and another of 15-67. This was one of the biggest failures in history for a team that had come to dominate the 1990s with six rings in eight seasons, and three straight seasons of over 60 wins, including the 72-10 win of 1995-96, still remembered in the phase of Ron Harper, one of the few survivors who continued in the Bulls in the course immediately following the farewell of Chicago references. I don't know what Mike would think of all this, said the point guard, who was rescued by a Jackson newcomer to Los Angeles and added two more rings to his record. He retired after 2000 to 2001, before Shaq and Kobe's third and final championship in the Lakers' ranks. In those Bulls that won the last three-peat was Steve Kerr, a man who has always known how to be in the right place at the right time and, smelling what was to come, he set out for warmer climbs to join the Spurs, with whom he won the ring in 1999, fourth in a row for him, and 2003, the fifth and last of his career. Hardly anything for a man who averaged no more than 8.6 points, 1993 to 94, and played only 30 games as a starter out of the 910 played in the North American competition, but who represents one of the most brilliant minds and best understandings of the sport. This time, the former player has not changed teams and has eaten up one of the biggest sporting collapses so far in recent years. Kerr is not to blame either. The coach has in his hands a situation that is impossible to manage no matter how much quality you have. The departure of Kevin Durant has been joined by the injuries of Klay Thompson and Stephen Curry. The duo is unlikely to return for the whole season and the latter has no return date, although he will be reassessed in three months' time. The absence of the cornerstone of the franchise is compounded by the departure of Andre Iguodala, the dysfunction of Draymond Green, who is much more comfortable in a secondary role than having to lead. The bad dynamics of the Warriors have coincided with the change of track. The farewell to the Oracle, which said a bitter goodbye with the defeat in Game 6 of the Finals against the Raptors, has meant the advent of a new era. Or so it was intended. Since the move, all we've seen is a lot of nonsense. Players leaving, injuries continuing, there's no way to lift a situation that, we insist, is nobody's fault. Dynasties do not last forever and Golden State, a team that injuries have constantly respected, with occasional exceptions, in a lustrum in which they have made history. However, the future of the franchise is not in great danger just yet. The return of Clay and Curry for the next season, at the latest, must agree some Warriors who are going to take a season of transition, unless surprise. If Green recovers his level and Wiggins could be candidates for the playoffs again, and we will see if the ring comes along with it. But they have a lot of money committed until 2022. Steph, Thompson, Wiggins, and Draymond all charge between 15 and 40 million per season. And until 2023, Curry is the only one who ends the contract the year before. If they want to keep the big three, that's fine that has given them so much. Right now, they have a lot of problems signing new players precisely because of that little salary space. This leaves them with nine healthy players on the roster. The good part? That, for the future, they have among their ranks four stars who are in the prime of their careers and with whom they will be able to win again if they are healthy. In middle of that, the controversy continues around the figure of James Wiseman one of the favorites to be number one in the NBA draft in 2020. The 18-year-old 7'1 center reported last Thursday that he is leaving the NCAA to hire an agent and start preparing his assault on the NBA next season. The former Memphis University player has been suspended for 12 games after the NCAA discovered he and his family received $11,500 in compensation from coach Penny Hardaway for moving expenses. 
However, it must be said that when his donation was made, the former Magic, Suns, Knicks, and Heat player was not yet the coach of the Tigers. Wiseman, included at least in the top five of the draft by all the media that publishes predictions on their websites, will not compete again for the rest of the season. Everything points to the center being among the top five teams in the draft. His 7 foot 1 height and 2.32 meter wingspan makes him a very special player in his generation of the draft. In his three games this season in the NCAA, he has averaged 19.7 points, 10.7 rebounds, and 3 blocks per game. We wish nothing but the best for James in his effort to pursue his dreams. He will be truly missed, Hardaway said in a statement. But more recently, James Wiseman has been able to talk to the basketball world after having been declared ineligible to play as product of the NCAA. The Memphis Tigers could have easily had a number one overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft on the roster, but with such an announcement, the future of James Wiseman becomes extremely cloudy. Have we seen the last of Wiseman in a college basketball setting where he absolutely dominated the competition? And if so, will he choose the increasingly popular option of taking his talents overseas? How will all this impact his draft stock? Regardless of what the future holds, there will still be plenty of NBA teams with their eyes locked on his every move. But there's no team that makes a better fit for James Wiseman than the Golden State Warriors. For Bob Myers to even be considered for such a chance, he would have to at least land a top five pick in the upcoming draft. Given the uncertainty of both Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson's returns to the season, the Warriors are already well on track to be a bottom of the league team. It all depends on whether or not they want to rush back the return of the Splash Brothers to finish out the regular season with a highly unlikely playoff push, or if they want to commit to a disappointing season and make the most out of it by essentially tanking. Here's what they have in a line in a potential James Wiseman sweepstakes. First of all, James Wiseman is a 7'1", 240-pound elite big man who has a potential to be a future rising star in the NBA of the likes of DeAndre and Marvin Bagley. From this small sample so far, we've witnessed Wiseman come straight out and tear apart his competition in an insanely efficient manner. Over the course of his two games played in only 23 minutes per game, Wiseman is averaging 22 points, 5 assists, 10 rebounds for blocks on 83% shooting from the field. There is such a noticeable gap between himself and the rest of the competition when he's on the court that lives up to the cliché of an adult man amongst boys. Most of his production comes from overpowering his opponent in the paint and box outs for the offensive rebounds and dunks around the rim. But Wiseman has much more to offer than what's being displayed at Memphis, which is terrifying. But many scouts knew if you take James outside the context of the college game, they had a great foundation to be an all-around NBA all-star at his position who would score without will and be a completely useful tool all around. That's exactly the case here we have with James Wiseman. We've seen a supreme athleticism and an ability to move a center body like a guard with great mobility. But aside from running the floor extremely well, protecting the rim in a highly efficient rate, and finishing strong around the basket, what else is hiding back by Wiseman? Well, it would be his entire face-up game. There's a significant portion of his offensive game that we have yet to see. Just to serve as a reminder, Wiseman is a 7'1 center with great footwork, allowing him to score through jump hooks and fadeaways with either hand. We've seen a glimpse into his shooting mechanics as a left-handed shooter on 70% from the free throw line. There's little doubt that he'll be a two-way stretch five at the NBA level where he would be more selfish and focus on his personal development as a professional. Just imagine a very likely scenario of the Golden State Warriors maintaining their composure throughout the season and patiently waiting for their return of the superstars. Then for them, we return to a potential lineup of Stephen Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and a top five pick, James Wiseman. That would mark a team that is as complete as it gets on the offensive end and highly respectable defensively. But honestly, when you look at the current draft board, who else could the Warriors possibly target? Wiseman is the only legitimate center projected to be in the top 10, and the center position is their biggest need. But this all ties back to the question we asked at the start. What should Bob Myers be focused on for the 2019-2020 regular season? We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave us a like, subscribe down below, and hit the bell icon. Also, check out some of our other